In this video, I am going to make an updated search bar system. You can search anything here and it checks a list of names. To start, right click on the content browser and create a widget. Call this widget the name box. This is the individual name shown in the list. Open it and it will be empty. It is a modular component so we won't need it to fill the screen. At the top, there is a fill screen button, change it to desired. Search for horizontal box and drag it into the graph. Next, search for a text block. Drag it and drop it into the horizontal box. I used horizontal box because you may want to add images or other text next to the name for other data. Select your text. Rename it to name and tick the is variable box because we want to edit the text in the event graph. Now change the text to empty. You can also change other settings too. Go to the event graph, you only need the event pre-construct. Make a variable and call it name text. It will obey the variable type text. In the details panel, set it to instance editable and expose on spawn so we can change it to a random name in our next widget. Drag out the name text and the name text component. From the text component, search for set text. The input will be your name variable. Compile and go back to the content browser. Right click and add another widget. This will be named the search box. If you are in UE5, you won't have a canvas panel. Search canvas panel here and add one to the graph. Next, I want my search list to be going downwards so I added a vertical box. Next search for editable text box. This is what the search bar will use to write in game. Set the component name to be search bar. I will also write a hint text to be search. Now find scroll box. A scroll box will be used to have the list of names without text going off the screen. Add it to the vertical box. Make sure to click the fill button to fill the box. Importantly, call it names list. We need to tick the is variable box to edit it in the code. Now select the editable text box. Scroll down to the buttons and you want to click on text changed which means the code will be called every time we type or delete a letter from the text. Now we have this event in our graph, add a variable called names. This is a string type and make it an array. Add your names here. This type of data would generally be stored in the game instance but for the tutorial I placed it in here. On the event construct, drag out the name and add a for each loop. From the loop body, search for create widget. Select your name widget that we created. If you ticked expose on spawn for your name text variable, you will get an input on your node here. From array element, link it to the name text. From the create widget return value, promote it to a variable. You will name it names widget array. Remove this node here. We want to change this variable to an array. Compile and get the array out. Drag and search for an add node, connect it to the widget and return value. Now we have an array of widgets stored for later use. Get names list and search for add child. This adds our name widgets to the scroll box. Now we do our search logic. First we want to check if our search box is empty using this built in text is empty node. Next add a branch. On the true, we want to get our widgets array, search the node for each loop. Drag from array element and add a set visibility node. This means if we haven't searched anything, all the names will be shown. Now on false, I want to create a new function, call it search names. I also need to add an input for this function. The input type is a text, this input name is simply called text. Get your widgets array and do a for each loop. Connect it to the function. Now from the array element, get the name text variable. We want to convert this to string since string type have more nodes that can be used. Search for the contains node. This is our alternative to the compare with get substring logic that we used in the old tutorial. Connect substring into the text input. From array element, search for another set visibility node we don't need to use a branch node we can use the select node 
Search for or select. Connect condition to the contains return value. Our false would be changed to collapsed. Now there are alternative ways, looping through all the widgets in the array every time you type or remove a letter can ruin performance, however this is a starting point for your code. Next, in your event graph, on the false tab, search for your function called search names and link the text inputs. Our logic is done, compile and let's add the widget to the game viewport. In your character class, call the event begin play node. Search create widget. Select the search box widget. From return value, add to viewport. Next, get your player controller and from that node, search set show mouse cursor. Set it to true. Importantly when doing UI interaction. Set input mode to UI and link the in widget focus to the search box widget. Now compile and test the game. I hope you enjoyed this video and consider subscribing and sharing, see you next time.